Madison Reedy is here again for business news. Good evening to you. Good evening. It's a uh, cold, wintry night around the country and you're here to tell us that uh, consumers have the winter blues as well. Yes, consumers do have the winter blues. Uh, the latest Consumer Confidence Index survey, uh, it actually fell at six points in the month of July mm. to a level of 116. Now that's below the historical average, which is 120. And this is actually the lowest uh, this survey result has been uh, since October last year. So in eight months. So that means that this is the lowest consumers have felt uh, all year this year. Now, they're feeling slightly more worried about their current financial situation, but they're feeling very worried about their future financial situation. That particular measure in this survey is actually at its lowest point in four years. Now, economists reckon that consumers are feeling this downbeat uh, this winter because of global economic concerns creating some uncertainty and also because businesses are looking to reduce their investment, uh, which means that they're looking uh, to hire less people, which is probably making consumers worried about their future job prospects. Mm. And actually talking about businesses, we did have a business confidence survey come out earlier this week, and that actually showed that businesses are feeling the least confident they have in about a year since August last year. Uh, That survey showed that a net 44% of businesses were expecting economic conditions to worsen over the next 12 months, and that's up from 38% of businesses the month before. Wow. But... There's record highs for share markets. That's paying off for Kiwi savers. Do you like how I did the bad news first, and yeah, then I'm going to finish better. it with good I think news? It's better. Always better. Always mm. do it that way. And then so, the markets is like neutral anyway, isn't it? Oh, it is actually neutral today. Oh, is it? There yeah, it is. There you go. I it. <laughs> so the good news first. <laughs> so Morningstar's done some research on Kiwi saver returns uh, for the three months to June. Mm. Now they found that all Kiwi saver funds actually did have positive returns in that quarterly period. Uh, aggressive funds, particularly, uh, they had average returns of just over. 10% in the quarter. Conservative funds had returns of uh, 3.5%. Now Morningstar says that that's largely because share markets both here and and around the world, world have been having record highs lately. So the NZX top 50 uh, had a rise of 6.7% in its value over the three months to June. Uh, our counterparts across the Tasman in Australia, the ASX top 200, they were up 8% uh, mm. in their value. Now to put this in dollar terms, which typically grabs more people's attention. Yes. Uh, that that growth has taken KiwiSaver assets to a value of $57.2 billion. Now in June, uh, around this time last year, they were worth uh, below $50 million at $48.7 billion. Sorry, wow. I meant to say mil- uh, billion there, billion. not billion. Mm. Million, billion. <laughs> it's a tricky it's, one it's on a Friday, Friday evening. <laughs> it's got better by almost $10 billion. Yes. That's not bad. <laughs> Um, so onto those neutral markets. Those neutral markets, the NZX Top 50 Index closed up just three points tonight, barely worth mentioning, mm. uh, to close at 10,863. Uh, the New Zealand dollar, that's buying at 65.4 US cents, 96 to the Australian and 54 British pence, and just a bit of shameless self-promotion to mm. end the week as well. Uh, if you need more business news uh, in your weekend, we have our business podcast, Two Cents Worth, which is up online at the moment, or you can listen wherever you get your podcasts, possibly Apple or Spotify. And this week's uh, Two Cents Worth podcast is, in fact, my own. Uh, It's all about the growing prevalence of scams and what banks and the government are, or in some cases, aren't doing to Mm. fight it. Very good. Well, everyone's going to be at home wrapped up, so there'll be plenty of time to listen to that. Nothing better to listen to, in my opinion. Good on you. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks very much, Madison. Madison Reddy there, shamelessly self-promoting Two Cents Worth. Listen to her Two Cents Worth this weekend if you get a chance.